Welcome back to Darkwood. Now that I've explored the quarry a bit and found the holes shortcut, it's time to go back there, make sure I found everything at the quarry, and then start to explore around here. Before that though, I just want to mention something. So, if you remember, a little while ago, not in our inventory, um, here we found an old cassette. Yeah, here it is. I found this and I was thinking, what if I could play this in the cassette player we have back home? And I was thinking of this, but uh, turns out this is not a cassette player. It's actually a radio. So, can't play it. Hopefully I'll find a use for that, though. There's a lot of items that maybe people might recognize and I could maybe show them. Just gotta find the right people. Maybe the mushroom granny or the old man at the village. We'll see. Alright. Let's see if our friend is back at the holes. Wait. Did I leave the generator on? No. Good. Yeah, let's see if they've come back. I also wonder if I should drink from the well. It seems like the little extra bit of health bar I have up here in the top left, it seems like when you rest through the night, like when you just last through the night, it doesn't heal up that last little bit. It just heals you up to the second bar, not the extra bit. I guess I'll drink. Okay. Here we go. Do have my lantern on me, right? I do. Hmm. <sighs> it really disturbs me that they're not here. I honestly wish they were. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to the quarry and I'll bring you back if I find anything new. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay, I do want to see what's in here, though. Now that I know they just all attack me, I'm like, alright, forget it. Let's just see. Okay, yeah, they're coming at me. Could there be an oxygen tank? There almost certainly is not, but I don't want to miss the chance for an oxygen tank, just in case. I just rags some potatoes and... Oh, Christ. Scared the shit out of me. Whew. Thank God for that ability, huh? Oh, the people I used to be here. They're not here anymore? Stones, stones. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Old shed. Oh, over here. Hmm. Let me check over here in the water. Curious if there's anything over to the right here. Looks like there's a pathway to the trees there. Might be something at the end of the pathway. Anyway, let's check out the shed before we go there, though. What is this? Ooh, something I can dig. This music's new and ominous. Whoa. Another key to Tunnel 21. Another one, I don't think it's of any use. Why is there yet another key? This is a military? One of the military people? Perhaps? I'm gonna keep it with me anyway. Oh. One of those red things. Rusty Barrow. There are some blurred traces inside the barrow. Looks like recently dried blood. Whoa. Are those flowers? Like at the wedding? 
What's going on here? I guess I should probably check out the place first. Ooh, I hear a lot of flies. The floor is covered with flowers of various colors. Some are fresh, the rest must have been lying here for some time. I'm switching to my shotgun. Ah. It's metal. No window that I could get through. Alright, let's follow this. This isn't any place on the map, because there's a whole building here. Looks like they lead this way. They kind of go off this way a little bit. Then they seem to stop. Have I been here before? No, definitely not. That's new. I move the grass when I walk through it. Never seen that before. Whoa. Is that a chomper? That is. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's something else. Is that a lizard thing? Come on. Come on. Maybe I'll just ignore him. Okay. Gas tank. Hmm? Some bad noises in that swamp. I'm just gonna put that back in place. I've already used up my trap skill for today, so let's take care of that. Oh, there's more hidden in the grass, huh? Someone trapped this place well. Swamp Cottage. Oh! it's an interesting icon. Maybe there's someone to talk to here. Did I get a new journal entry? Nope. Oh. Cottage is surrounded by a barricade made out of old furniture and rusty barbed wire. Probably stolen from some fence. Very thorough with the traps. Is that a broken generator? Yep. Oh, I can... I can repair it with scrap. Sure. I have 30 scrap on me? Dear God. If there's someone in there, maybe they'll say thank you for repairing it. <laughs> oh, it's got some gas too. There's some more flowers right there. An intense smell of flowers fills the air. Alright, now let's turn it on.
Oh, is there something under there? Hmm. Oh. Ah. No! Oh, thank you for fixing our generator. You can come in. Oh, yay! Oh my god. Thank you. So you're not gonna try to kill me? Wait, our generator? Not my generator? Our? There's more than one? Elephants? Oh. Wow, look at that. I'm not even looking at the text, I'm just looking at their art. Oh, they're so interesting looking. I love the character art in this game. Is that a group of kids? I look like that one back there just like tugged on the leading one's hand. Like, they look scared, they're hiding behind the leader. <laughs> There's like a fly that just keeps like flying all around and landing on him. Actually a bunch of flies. The air is filled with a suffocating sweet odor of rot. Who are you? The woman is wearing a heavy ruined coat. Her voice is suppressed by the cracked gas mask she's wearing. Can't you speak? Did someone take away your voice? Two children hide behind the woman. The younger one eyes me nervously, cowering in fear. The older one just stands there, motionless. You're not from around here. I would have recognized you. We may keep to ourselves, but I know everyone here. I would never forget your mug. The younger child pierces me with its eyes. The steamed visor of his gas mask betrays his rapid breath. Your gob looks like that because of this fiendish air, do you know? I bet you can't speak because you didn't keep your mouth shut when walking through the woods. So I can't even talk anymore. It becomes so mutated I can't speak. That's probably why with the, uh, the mushroom granny why when they asked me what I wanted I didn't really say anything and one of my options was just to point at the door to unlock it you know to say I want in there I couldn't actually speak I'm trying to think did I speak in the past at some earlier point in this game did I speak I can't remember I feel like I probably haven't New journal entry, a family in oxygen masks. Oh, oxygen! This might lead to an oxygen tank. The trees and plains are simply beautiful here, and the, the bushes bloom gorgeously this time of year. But don't let the charm of this land deceive you. The devil lurks between the trees, and he gets to you through your mouth and nose. <laughs> don't let the charm of this land deceive you. There's nothing charming about this place. The elder child's grasp on his mother's hand tightens. He does not lift his gaze from one of the hut's walls. And? You're just going to stand there? I know you want something, you leopard demon. You're not getting anything from us. I don't trust you, leopard gob, do you hear me? I don't trust anyone who breathes this filthy air. Uh oh, this is taking a bad turn. The woman stares at me intensely through the cracked mask. Did you take my Marcinek? Was it you who kidnapped him? Talk. Marcinek? What? No, that cannot be. The woman stares at the floor. Her greasy black hair drops down on her mask. It's impossible. Stupid child. He went out and never came back. He was on about how his granny will take him mushrooming. I have no idea where he... I told him he cannot go outside. I told him that the devil will find him, take off his mask, and take him away. He went on about his, how his granny will take him mushrooming. That must be the mushroom granny, right? I would look for him, but... She lowers her head even more, as if observing the dead flies stuck to her coat. You want my trust? Bring my Marcinic back. My stupid Marcinic. Find him and bring him home. 
Here's the key to his room. He was spending a lot of time there recently. Maybe you'll be able to find something there that will lead you to him. I think I know where he is. I think I might have to eat the granny. <laughs> oh god. Ah, oh, finally someone I can gossip with and show items. Okay. A photo of a road. I remember this road. The woods devoured it about three years ago. It used to lead to our village. I walked it to school. The woman stares into the photo, hypnotized. The road home. My road home. Alright, photo of three boys, aka what I believe are the three. The woman takes the photo and freezes. No, I don't know who that is. Freezes? I think you do know who that is. Also, why did they say that? That is, like there's only one person in the photo of three people. It's gossip. You're just like these lunatics who roam around the woods, searching for god knows what. There used to be more of them. Guess most of them starved to death. I remember when they appeared not far from here. Must have been around two years ago. Around two dozen of them. They were led by these three weirdos dressed in old rags. They set up a camp at the marsh. There, between the trees. They watched our house. Stared right into my windows. The oddities. I thought they wanted to kidnap my children, or harm them some other way. But when the night fell, I lost sight of them. There was no one there in the morning. They were led by these three weirdos dressed in old rags. The three? Perhaps? Could it be the three? Hmm. I remember that language being used too, like dressed in weird rags, old rags, being used to describe some of the people. I think in like the documents talking about how the military outposts were overrun and compromised. I feel like they mentioned some of them were wearing rags. Hmm. And now I'm also thinking of the writing that we saw on... Let's see, we saw something scratched on the mask of the military person back at um, the hideout here. What was it, liar? It was liar or thief. Scratched on the mask was a liar or thief, and then scratched on the floor in the village was the other one. So one was liar and one was thief. Hmm. I'm trying to put it all together, but uh, I don't know. The youngest child, hidden behind the woman's back until now, finally finds the courage to make a small step towards me. One little bear ate a little soup. A faint voice can be heard. Then another one came and... Quiet! The woman smacks the boy in the back of his head. The punch is so hard the hood of his rubber cloak lands on his mask's visor. Not now, in f not in front of a stranger. That was odd. Apart from these two here, and Marcinek, there's one more boy of mine. My precious darling, a blessed child. The woman rests her hands on the oxygen tanks of the children standing beside her. His love fills our tanks with clean air. For this we are forever grateful to him. For the clean air, for the oxygen tanks, for these beautiful masks, and the book, in which the devil has revealed his true image, along with his evil plan. My son took it away from the trees with his own hands, and brought it here to us. Hmm? What, what blessed child is this that fills your tanks? And this book, I would really like to see it. Something exploded in the western part of the swamp. New journal entry explosion. Uh, made the ground tremble, devil knows what it was. I see you're curious. Investigate it, if you have a death wish. I think it happened in the junkyard. Oh, that was Pietrek. Don't really plan on taking 
much of anything. I just want to see if maybe the book's around here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's take a look at the journal. Day 38. A family in oxygen masks. I met a family living inside the barricaded cottage in the swamp. A woman and two kids. Their faces are hidden behind gas masks. The woman claims the air inside the woods is poisoned. They rely on the oxygen tank for breathing. The Lost Son. The woman in the gas mask, probably the mother, has asked me to find her son. He went to see the granny about the mushrooms. The woman has given me the key to her son's room. Perhaps I'll be able to find something that will help me locate the kid. And explosion, something happened in the junkyard. Yep, hard to know about that. Okay, let's take a look at the room. Mushroom. <laughs> I really like mushrooms. An old doormat. I think someone uses it as a bed. Oh. Small bundle. A simple map scribbled on a piece of a crumpled paper, judging by the drawings it was made by a child, is very inaccurate. I will only be able to find the approximate position of the spot indicated on the map. Primitive map of the Mast family's cottage. One of the kids must have drawn it. Um, it's very inaccurate, almost scrawled. Looks like the kid wanted to um, indicate some place using it. I've circled the area where that place should be on my map. Yep, definitely the Mushroom Glade. Definitely the Mushroom Granny. Ah, I'm so intrigued. Like, why would the Mushroom Granny kidnap the kid? That is indeed what happened. Hmm. I remember the Mushroom Granny, though, being all suspicious? Looking nervously at the door when she woke up? Insisting that there's nothing in there. No, no. Mm-hmm. Do I have any extra gas? I know this is a complete waste of time, but I feel like I should give them some gas. It's only right, isn't it? Ah, so satisfying. I guess I'll turn it off for now. Don't want to waste it. It's not nighttime yet. Oh, Christ. No, no shortcut out, is there? No. Duh. Okay, uh, 16, so I got two hours. That's not enough time to go to the Mushroom Granny. Definitely not. So... Where do I go? Hmm. I could just start to head back to base this way. See what's new over here. This is kind of the last large area that's unexplored. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go this way. <laughs> Yay. God, this is a horrible little pathway, isn't it? Oh, and it just ends. Oh, I never did finish exploring down here. That pathway that looked like it just kept going to the right. Huh. Well, let's get my rifle out so I can see further. Yeah, let's go down here. See if we can meet back up with that path. Am 
Am I down enough? It's another one of those red things. Uh, oh, somewhere around here. Nothing's marked on the map. Guess I'll keep going down. Okay, here's the bottom of the map. Yeah, I think I think this is the pathway that I was looking at. So it doesn't seem to lead anywhere in particular. Just some wood. I don't need that. See if there's anything up here. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, that scared me. Alcohol, battery, the rest can stay, I guess. I'll take the gas. It's not really important. Shiny stone, sure. Oh, pills, definitely. Oh, yeah. Can use that to help me get home. Oh, Jesus! Fucking hell, I'm too busy looking super far. I'm not even looking where I'm stepping. Well, I'm half dead now. That's great. I need to get home soon, but oh, I'm here, so I'm... Really close to the hideout, actually. Oh. Uh oh. All right, come on. heal. Wait, I don't have my- ah, oh, shit. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot him. I don't know my pills on my hotbar. Okay, there's a backpack over there, too. Gas tank, fine fabric. Oh, more pills. Um, hmm. I don't need rope. I honestly don't need this much scrap, but it feels so bad just to get rid of it. Um. Okay, I'll get rid of some. I really don't need it. Pills definitely useful. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Sure, sure. Uh huh. Fascinating. Okay, we gotta get back. Let's take some pills. Just go straight up, right? Yep, straight up. Well, something's here. Ooh. Oh, there's a bunch of chests there. Note that for the future. Almost home. Here we go. Okay, made it home with plenty of time to spare. Let me prep for the night. Go check, make sure I've of pistol ammo. Oh, that one made it. Uh-oh. Oh, another one? <laughs> well, I took care of him. 
Uh oh. Oh no. No 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 no. There's fire there. I can't go through it. Ghosts, please don't hurt me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. being stuck out here. Come on, fire. Ooh. Where'd that come from? It's about to go. That light's flashing. Yep. I think I already drank from the well, right? Yeah. Already used moth? No, let's do it. place for more than a month now. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And when I return, we're gonna head over to the Mushroom Granny, and one way or another, we're getting in that room.